macro micronutrients at a 50,000 foot view, right? You don't need a PhD to go two plus two is four. So a macronutrient, right? Think of that, right? That's big scale. Potentially that could be aloe vera, right? But again, in the 1950s, when the government was doing all of these radiation and nuclear testing, people are getting sick, they're getting burned, uh, they're using radiation, right, to treat, let's say, cancer, and they're working on a, a woman with breast cancer, and the radiation burns her on the inside of her lung. How are we going to? How would we fix that, right? So on the micro side, that's when science began to go. Well, wait a minute. Look, look at these long chain, short chain polysaccharides. That's the discovery of Ace Man, and they're like, look, what? Well, it's not only aloe vera. Everyone knows why it heals people. The discovery of Ace Man and is okay. This is the actual micronutrient inside aloe vera that actually does that. So there's so many great aloe products out there. But believe, believe it or not, most of them are food coloring, most of them are maltodextrin, and most of them haven't had uh, any efficacy because it sat on somebody's shelf for six, eight, 12, 24, how many ever months, right? It's just, it's a marketing piece. So when you're looking at nutrients, most of the time when somebody says aloe vera, quote unquote, or ace man, and believe it or not, uh, they're actually using the macronutrients. They're not actually the right efficacy at all, if anything.